Plymouth is a great testbed for oceanography for testing our instruments, for getting out of the lab. There comes a point where you have to come out of the nice controlled conditions of the lab and get out in the field effectively. And Plymouth gives us that test bed. Pretty much we can operate in any weather within Plymouth Sounds. We have access to a great array of vessels. Uh, we have up to 40 meters depth in this area here, which is called Barn Pool, and some really interesting oceanography. So in this particular area, we've essentially got a huge estuary up to the north of us, emptying out through a 200 meter wide strait and that turbulent mixing that you get going on gives us a great variety of conditions to test the instruments in. And that's what we're doing at the moment with the Swift CTD on the Vigo winch, profiling that exchange of water, fresh water and seawater, and that kind of mixing process between the two. So what we have here is the, uh, the new Valport Swift CTD. So this is the, the next product in the Swift line. So we've taken all the clever stuff that we put in the Swift. So the Bluetooth communications, the GPS location, the big battery, the storage, and then we've added a CTD on the end. So we've got conductivity, we've got temperature, we've got pressure. This hooks into the, the same bit of software. So you've got a common software interface, whether you're using a Swift SVP, whether you're using a Swift CTD, it's essentially, it's the same package and the same kind of protocols. Automated download, automatic Bluetooth connection, seamless data transfer. It's ease of use, the key point of the Swift line. You've got a, a magnetic switch ring here. So that's off. You turn it half a turn, comes on, gets a GPS fix, connects to the Bluetooth, and then we can communicate wirelessly with the profiler to get the data on, off, change the configuration. This is the C-Max Vigo underway profiling winch, fully autonomous, fully automatic. It's fully integrated with the Swift system. It is currently retrieving the profiler from back there. So we've probably just done a 25 meter cast. This retrieves the profiler. We create an automatic Bluetooth link between the profiler and the computer in the dock. We download the profile. That message gets sent to the winch, tells it how deep it got the last cast. The winch is talking to the echo sounder so it knows how deep the water is, so it can adapt how far it casts the next cast. So you can see the process is just about to start here. So the profile is just coming back to the surface here. So we automatically establish a Bluetooth link. The profiler gets a GPS position so it knows where it is. So every cast is geotagged. The winch has got a GPS antenna in it as well. So the winch knows where it is and how fast it's going and how fast it's moving. And so that download's happening at the moment. And when that download's complete, this will take another cast to a percentage of the water depth fed to us by the echo sounder on board the boat. So I said, fully autonomous. There's nobody in the cabin at the moment driving this. This is a system fully driving itself. <laughs>